safety and belonging is about feeling like you have a place in school and you are safe physically and mentally. To me, safety and belonging is being able to be yourself with um, multiple different groups and not feeling like like somewhat of an outcast. I think that teachers need to realise a lot of their students that they teach are going to be a part of a minority group, such as you know black people, Asian people, queer people. Those are all minority groups who are typically targeted. And a lot of the times we don't feel safe at school because of the language that other students use. Me personally, I do feel safe at school, but I know people who don't um, and people who are picked on. I know people who have moved schools because they don't feel safe um, and they don't feel like they be belong or they're being respected by teachers and students. School can be very mentally draining, especially because of the kind of environment that you can be in. It could be a great environment where you're able to do your schoolwork mm -hmm. and focus on having fun with friends as well as your assignments and exams. Or it can be an environment where you're uncomfortable and unsafe in mm -hmm. what you're doing and you're not able to work properly. You're so fearful of judgment. You always have that underlying fear that or if I come to school and like, you know, I look different to someone else, am I gonna be judged? Am I not gonna feel safe? Am I not gonna feel like I belong? It's really important that staff create that environment underpinned by trust and respect. So students feel a sense of safety and belonging. Teachers pose as a role model for us as students. These are the adults that we see every single day. We probably see them more than our own families and teachers should be mindful of what they're saying, be mindful of, of who their students are, what groups they're part of, to try and support, support them and understand how to help them. They need to display a, a front that is respectful and open-minded and inclusive of all types of students. I know when I've spoken to teachers and they listen to me and they understand and they give advice, it really makes you feel safe um, and it makes you feel heard. And I feel like that's a main thing with students, they don't always feel heard. I have a, a really supportive teacher that makes me in particular feel like I'm safe and feel like I belong as well. It really helps me to feel like I know that there's someone at school that I can talk to. Schools can promote safety and belonging through gauging what their diversity is like in that school and finding out how they can cater to certain individuals or certain groups and just appreciating rather than appropriating because a lot of the time accidentally like people who aren't from a certain cultural background tend to tokenize those who are of a cultural background and they mean well but it actually does harm that individual so asking them you know do you want to share your culture with us uh, do you want to share a bit about where you're from or just trying to create you know a kind of sense of or you're appreciated here, like we want to know more about you. Little things like inclusive pronouns or asking people what their preferred names are or stuff like that can be also included because it can make a student feel so, so safe because they don't, some people may not get that question so often. Things as simple as letting us change to the uniform that best matches our gender identity. Um, I know my school has unisex bathrooms, which are such a privilege to have and make such a difference and help so many students. It helps us realise that we're not alone. We can be ourselves without feeling like we're being judged.